So basically, this is 2022, and everybody in this 2022 is either a Yahoo boy, a tech boy, or a content creator. And I am not a Yahoo boy. I just want to put this out so that they will not come and catch me. And I'm neither a tech boy either. So I am a content creator, I am a YouTuber. Now, in the whole Yahoo boy, tech boy, and content creator level i think we as content creators make the least amount of money but we put the most amount of content out like we have to be seen as big boys in the whole society because if you're an influencer or a youtuber you have to make your viewers look at you like someone that has that is successful to some extent so that they can be able to believe whatever you're saying now putting that aside on today's video we're going to talk about clothing now the question i'm going to ask on today's video is that this is 2022 is thrifting still the right option for you in 2022? Now, me, I'm just going to jump into it and just say yes. Because why? Because I don't have money to come and be going to boutique and buying clothes. Well, let's leave that. Let me explain to you why I think thrifting is better. So let's say you have a budget to spend on clothing, which is 50000 Now, 50000 if you go into a boutique and you buy two jeans, I, th I think that's all. Because jeans are very expensive now. But let's say you buy two jeans at 50 shirts. Basically, your 50k has gone. Let's say you spend 15, 15,000 on jeans and 10, 10k on t-shirts. That is, that is 30k on jeans and 20k on t-shirts. And that's all. Meanwhile, I'm in Abuja. I don't know about any other place in the country. But I'm going to base my whole research on ABJ. In Abuja, there are two main thrifting locations or thrifting market in ABJ. It's Kaimu Market and the Yanya Market. Now, me, I would not lie, I go to Kaimu Market to buy most of my clothes. Like, like 90% of my clothing are from KRM. <laughs> we call it KRM because um, it was one of my friends that devised it. You know, you don't really want to tell people that, oh, you treat all your clothing. So you tell them, I buy my clothes from KRM. They'll be like, where's KRM? You'll be like, eh, don't worry, I'll tell you the place later. Everybody knows where Karimo is, but nobody knows where KRM is. For all they know, KRM could be a luxury boutique that they don't know about. So let's say your budget is 50k to go to KRM. See, I'm not gonna lie to you. The highest budget I've carried to KRM. See, I'm used to KRM, so I'm not going to call it Karimo, I'm used to call it KRM. The highest amount of money that I've carried to KRM is 25k. And that day, I came back with. with bags of clothing like i took my school bag my guy took his own school bag and we still got them in leaders and we got like that period okay that was that was that was that was 2021 so things were still a bit cheaper at that time it's not as if it's way worse now but it's just a bit expensive now so this is what we spend our money on that 2021 i got t-shirts i like t-shirts so i got like i got like seven and they're selling them at one one k each now when you go there Quite right, you see some very substandard clothing, some very bad and dirty ass clothing that you know you won't wear. But you will still see clean clothes. Now we got to discover, we even got there and we found out that some of these guys that are selling in boutique, they go there, buy clothes and just put tags on it and go and hang it on. They'll just wash it and dry clean it and spray some perfume on it and hang it in one fancy hanger. Something that they bought for 1000 And if you're even buying box, they might even reduce it like 8800 so something that they got for like at, at most 1000 they're going back to sell it at their boutique at 7000 those people are making massive money so you yourself you have to open your eye my brothers and my sisters go to krm that day we spent we spent 7000 on just t-shirts that is 7000 minus 25000 that is i'm coming let me use my calculator that is 18000 left now that 18000 i got three tracks with um three um sweatpants because i like sweatpants I like i got three sweatpants i got like two plain trousers and the rest of the money i used it on jacket like that day i got like two other jackets so instead of getting just two jeans and two t-shirts I, I was able to get this large amount of food and like two shorts yes i got two shorts now the only thing that i don't treat and i don't advise anybody to treat is your shoes now me i can go all out to get one piece one pair of shoes i can spend 30k on a pair of shoes i can spend 25k on a pair of shoes I don't thrift my shoes because my shoes have to be really good, Nike, 
it has to be Nike. <laughs> most of the most of the influencers that you see on uh, Instagram, have, we've gone there. See, we've gone there, and I don't call the influencer name, but she and he are pretty big. Yeah, Abuja people. I was surprised when we saw them. They were like, ah, now nah, yeah, you did. Yeah, all right, now. Nah. <laughs> We that we are just starting up and we are meeting you here, that means we are all in the same WhatsApp group. So let's go and treat. We were surprised, I will not lie. Most of these influencers that you see that are wearing very good looking clothes, they treat there. And it's even easier for women because I think women's clothing are very, very, very cheap. Like the least, the least male clothing that you can get of very good quality, like one kid, which is a t shirt. But we, okay, you can get some shorts for like 700 or so. But women now can get some shirts for like 300 500 and i'm like yeah we make clothing are very cheap so instead of you spending tons of money on a boutique i'm gonna just go to the thrift store and just go and get your clothes if you are afraid that you don't want people to see you put on your face mask like this wear face cap nobody will know you my guy go and buy whatever you want to buy nobody's nobody's looking at where you bought the cloth they just want to look if the cloth is good enough to put on and if it appears well and basically like 50% or 60% of clothing in trip appear well. Just you just have to go very early so that you can meet like the first batch that comes out of the bill. If not, by that time, if you go like around 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, plenty of people have chosen a good, good quality clothes and you'll be left like trash. So you just have to go early. I think I will make a video on me spending some certain amount of money on thrifting. If you guys want to see that video, please comment. Hit it on the comment box and I will see. My name is Keme again. Hit the like button. Smash it. Scatter it. Decimate it.